So you're trying to create a custom form within Shopify and save that data into custom fields of your customers? Let me tell you, you're probably going to fail just like I did. Without using overly expensive or bloating apps from the Shopify app store that will destroy your conversion rates and take away all the revenue, it's actually quite hard to find a good solution for this one. But I'm telling you, I found one. So I own an e-commerce agency helping our clients to, let's be frank, make more money. And recently one of my clients asked me, Marvin, is there a way to actually pre-qualify our users upon registration? Sure, we could, for example, collect some relevant data of the user, save it into a custom field to actually make it usable within the shop. So let's create a custom field, adjust the form for registrations and automate the rest. So in case you didn't sign up for Shopify yet, you can use the link below. It's an affiliate link. You will support the channel with it and you can sign up for a free trial. We can create the custom field by going into settings, click on custom data on the left side. You'll see all the meta fields available to you. We are going to click on customers and add a definition. Now I'm going to name this favorite TV show because I want to gather the favorite TV show of my customer for this example, right? So I'm going to select a type and the type is going to be a single line text, but you could go ahead and use a date format. Um, you could uh, use uh, integers or um, even reference a product, but let's keep it simple for now and go with a single line. I am going to make this accessible for the storefront. Make sure to remember the namespace and the key. So for the next step, it doesn't really matter what theme you use, but I would highly recommend to actually uh, create a backup by clicking the three dots and simply duplicating your theme to make sure you're not messing up your whole shop. I can highly recommend the Shopify do developer documentation to actually learn and better understand how Shopify works. So for this issue on how to collect more data about your customers, I would suggest to go into themes and just check out customer engagement. In here, you will find additional customer information. And that's where they tell you that you can only save additional data for your customers into the customer note, right? So on your online store, click on themes, go to your themes, make sure that you've saved your theme, click on the three dots and edit the code. Now, it doesn't really matter what theme you're using because usually the file we are looking for is named something with register, right? And it's usually under sections. So you, I, it, I'm using the Dawn theme and in here is a file named main-register.liquid. That's the file I'm looking for and in here you'll find the actual form code. So you can go basically go ahead and take one of the simple fields, right? For example, the text field for the last name, copy the whole div with the label and paste it underneath the last field to just add an extra field. But I already prepared some code, which is adjusted, right? So um, here's the full div. It's called favorite TV show, right? So I adjusted the ID to register form dash fave TV show. And I adjusted the name. So this is important. If we go back to the documentation, it actually tells you that you have to call it customer, open brackets, note, and then another open bracket, um, the actual note, right? So that's what I did right here. Customer note, and the note is called favorite TV show. Underneath, I have a simple value change if the value is given. Um, I don't need autocomplete here, but placeholder favorite TV show. And I have the label, right? 
that's basically it. If I save that and reload the page, I now have a favorite TV show. And that's it. Now, if I actually register, I should be able to see the result in the customers. So now I go into my account and we have it right here. Notes, favorite TV show, House of Cards. We are done for here, but that's not where it's supposed to be, right? We want this information to go right here. But we don't want to do it manually. We need to automate it. So let's go ahead and actually do that. And for this, we're actually going to use one of my favorite tools, Make. Make is my go-to automation tool. It's one of the main Zapier competitors. I would say it's Zapier on steroids, to be honest. So um, yeah, make sure to click the link in the description and sign up. You can sign up for a free account. You get a thousand operations per month. So um, you don't even have to pay for small automations. But if you have an account, go ahead and sign in and create a new scenario. What we need right here is Shopify and we want to watch customers, right? Um, if you don't have the connection yet, you can go ahead and create a new Shopify connection, simply add your subdomain. So now I entered my subdomain, which is usually how you call your store, basically, right? Go save that. And then it's asking me to connect my shop to make. Let's click on install app and we're good to go, right? So now it's from now on, it's gonna watch customers. So in order to see what data we actually get, you can right click this thing, click on choose where to start, choose manually, and then you can select an example, this one. Now I'm gonna click on run once and we will see all the information we have about my account. And in here we will see the note and this is important because we need to understand how the note is structured we always have favorite tv show in within the note so we need to extract only the actual information from the note and save it into a custom field and to extract that or manipulate the the note I am going to use a text parser and use a match pattern advanced, right? Now you can actually put in the text, right? So the text is going to be the customer note right here. And we need some uh, a regular expression, right? And the way I like to do it, because I'm not an expert in regular expressions, so I can highly recommend um, Rejects 101 to test your expressions, but I would actually go to ChatGPT and um, describe the use case, right? So what do we have right here? We have TV show House of Cards. And I'm simply going to ask it, write Rejects to get everything after. So, right. Boom. Let's go ahead and actually test it. Yeah, it's working just fine. House of Cards. So let's go ahead and insert it. Now that we have it, I would like to test it first, right? So let's go ahead, run anyway. Boom, value House of Cards. Perfect, easy. So what do we do now? We add another module. Um, it's going to be a Shopify module and we want to create a new meta field, right? The 
the namespace is going to be custom as it relates to the custom fields and if we go back to our meta fields in custom data I can simply copy the key right copy and paste the key the value is going to be the new value created by the text parser right? the value type is going to be line text the owner resource is going to be the customer itself and the owner ID is going to be the customer ID right here right the description I do not need now we are going to insert the data into the custom field but I also would like to update the customer because oh, I need to update my permissions so let's do that okay so let's adjust the customer additional information and I want to add something to the node field which is going to be an empty string right so I just want to be the node empty afterwards first I'm gonna take the node insert it into the actual meta field then I'm gonna empty the node field to have the space available for something else right so let's save that and let's choose where to start and actually test it so just to make sure let's have a look again we have our customer here the favorite tv show is empty the note is filled with house of cards right so let's give it a try run it once boom create meta field it's created value house of cards okay update customer note empty let's see if it actually worked reload the page and there you go now in order to actually automate it you can go ahead and activate scheduling right so you could either go for every 15 minutes you could actually go put this down to um, one minute I think that actually depends on uh, what type of account you have but I mean every 15 minutes is sufficient you could add a timing a schedule to it uh, but no need for that and now it's every 15 minutes going to check whether customers have been updated and if yes <coughs> if customers have been created sorry and if yes um, take the customer note and put it into a meta field right but what if we for example have multiple registration forms and some are without the note and some are not uh, with it right we can actually click on the link between the two modules and add a condition right so i'm gonna call this filter for note and i am going to say that if the node exists continue if not it won't do anything right you fully automated your new custom field ladies and gentlemen well